well, this is awkward. Hey everybody, it is the Awkward Simmer, and I'm still pretty stuffy, um, recording the same night, so I'm only gonna be doing two of these episodes, so this is the second one, and let's go ahead and look at stuff. What can we do? What can we do? Okay, so again, agility will be really good to do, and again, faith. We just gotta get unscared. That's all. I'm still upset the only outfit we have is this boarding uniform. Um, oh gosh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, let's, what's the log do? Oh, no, no. Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do, I think we should do reflexes again, because that's something that we really need to be able to go ahead and master. And I'm gonna do lore again, because it seems that this crystal, um, what is she, Lauren stuff? is very important in this game. You practice with a jump rope to increase the speed of your footwork. You practice solo tennis, hitting a ball against the wall repeatedly in order to train your hand and your eye to react. Oh, so this is like every 10. It's gonna give me like something new that I do. You may now play sports on the weekend. Oh, fun! I love sports. I only cheer, but whatever. The kings and queens of Nova have all been lumens for centuries, but in modern times, magic is only used for ceremonial occasions and in, in, in the direct di direst, never heard that word, of emergencies. Long, long ago, the con continent, I am having so much trouble, it's ridiculous. Come on, 12th grade Sierra. Long, long ago, the continent of Borealis was ruled over by a single witch king. Wouldn't it be a warlock king? Duh. Until a rival line of Lumens, oh, she's Lumen, not Lauren, Ugh. challenged for the crown. The resulting war went on for a hundred years with powerful spells that damaged the land so badly, even now, no plants will grow. Wait, then how did a snake appear in the grass before? Whatever. <laughs> One of the maids approaches you approaches for your attention. My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. She looks old-ish. I mean, she's wearing glasses, which isn't uh, any right to call her old because I wear glasses, but whatever. Oh, adjusting. Excuse me. Excuse me. We have a Duke of Sedna? No, no, my lady. The duchy. Du duchy? Duchy. That sounds like a bad word. I don't want to say that too much. Of Sedna is in Talasi. They have brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences on the death of. Deeply regret. Best wishes. Oh! What a beautiful necklace! Something sparkly will make me feel better. <laughs> now that you've finished studying, what will you do for the weekend? Um. I don't want her to be angry. I want her to stop being so stinking afraid. So we're gonna go to service one more time. It's the same stuff. I'm hoping she'll be less afraid because it's driving me insane. Okay, so she's kind of afraid and lonely. So I'm hoping that'll... No, it's still afraid. Oh my gosh. Then we're just gonna go ahead and train something else because as great as this is, I want to get more stuff that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to do this time foreign affairs and court manners. That's what we'll do. So let's see, that was in history, foreign affairs, and the expressions, court manners. That's good. You study the relationships of Nova and its nearest neighbors. The borders have been mostly peaceful in the recent years, except for the problems with... Uh... To the south, I... Aixon? Aixon. Aixon, whatever. I'm just gonna just call it uh. However, trouble may be brewing in Pyreus as well. Pyreus? Pyreus? Whatever. You reviewed the correct greeting for get you review the correct greetings for guests according to rank and when ex to extend your hand to another. All knowers 
A whole nobles expect their due honor. I am so sorry. So sniffly. My goodness. I'm so excited to play this, but I'm not sniffly. As you are walking, you spot a familiar figure in the palace gardens. It's the Duchess of Ursul. Maybe I should go and say hello. Then you notice that seated behind, besides her is a woman in the robes of a priestess. They are very close together, their hands gently touching as they speak. Looks like she's busy. <laughs> you turn and walk in a different direction so as not to disturb them. At that moment, you notice something unusual. It looks like someone just left the palace ground by going over the hedge. Was that a servant? A thief? Or an assassin? Uh, we're gonna call the guards, because that's a smart thing to do. Guards! Give her a like, cute little angry voice. <laughs> However, by the time that the response is organized and directed to the area beyond the palace, there is no sign of any intruder. I wonder if you were only imagining it. Now that you've finished studying, what will you do for the weekend? We are going to... Why is she angry? I don't want her to be angry. We'll do... Sneak out. Ooh. You sneak out of the castle to have a little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. Oh shoot, look at her angry little face. She is so excited. Oh, she's lonely, that makes me sad. Oh, her mood is willful though. She's very like, excited to do stuff. Okay, let's see. So we have a really good raise in Lumen. And the military and intrigue. Hmm. I'm gonna do intrigue and lumen. So, oh, do I not get lumen? Okay, I guess I don't get to learn it yet. I have to probably have to like learn more about faith. So, can I do that? Is faith fine? Uh, faith is okay. I might as well just do intrigue. I'm probably gonna do it twice for. Cause I don't want her to get super aggressive with like the military stuff. I saw the little trailer of it. I don't want her to be like scary. Unless you let me know below if that's what you want to see. Oh gosh, how many weeks do we have? That scares me. We're gonna do. Ooh, learning to read and write secret information. That's fun. And uh. What the nobles and other citizens are up to. Yeah, you gotta be sneaky. You practice reading words whose letters have been arranged in reverse order, the simplest of transpositions, which anyone literate can puzzle through as if they try. But sometimes it's useful to hide information. In um, okay, if you want to try to decipher that, let me know if you can do that in the comment section below. Until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the crown, and after him would be his daughter, your cousin, Charlotte. Why not her dad? Are girls, like, whatever. As you're walking up the stairs, a maid comes running down, holding a tower, towering pile of linen. Oh, her dad wouldn't be, because he's not looming, I don't think. Elegance failed. Reflects his success. You swiftly step aside and let her pass. Sweet. Okay. Can we, like, put down this willful... We shouldn't be so willful. Let's talk to your father. Dad, what happened to Mom's Lumen Crystal? It's in a safe place. Also, I look too young to have children. But that's okay. Can I have it? No. But it's mine! Meddling with magic killed your mother. I don't want that to happen to you. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want. But for now, you're still a child. Well, poo on you, dad. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do intrigue again. And... We'll do foreign intelligence for that. And then we'll do... We need elegance, right? Oh, gosh. We can't do that with willful. Um, 
We'll do some military. Sure. Fine. Foreign intelligence. And we'll do military. Uh... do logistics. Not super, like, threatening and stuff. The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Talassi. Really? She's like, she's like 10. I don't think she just, like, belongs with a 26 year old. That's gross. <laughs> you learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army on the march and how long they will remain edible. Well, that's cool. There is a man here to see you. He wishes crown funding for a project of his. Remember, the treasury is not unlimited. If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. Your Royal Highness, I have a plan to print books using metal letters, which can be moved and reused. I need to borrow 800 and... I don't know how much that is, so... 875 lassie to assemble the metal in the factory to mold and cast the type. With this system, we'll be able to create new books in a fraction of the time it takes now and make copies to send all over the world. <laughs> I don't know much about factories or trade. Would that really be worthwhile? We are not interested. Ah, uh, okay, fine, whatever. We're gonna do attend court just because probably didn't do that. Sitting in on court sessions is no fun at all, but it pleases your father and it may be important for your future. That's good. Oh no! Now she's back to feeling like poo. Uh, okay, whatever. We can work with falcons. Yes. So we're gonna work on expression and falconism. That's <laughs> what I'm gonna call it, falconism. Uh, the classes, so I don't have writing and grooming, training and hunting. Falcons, yes! And then what was it, conversation? No expression. We're gonna do voice. You learn about the frig frag fragility, fragility, oh. fragility of hunting birds and the years of training necessary to develop mastery. Luckily, your royal falconer does most of the hard work for you. You learn about the hood and the leather dresses, dresses, and how when they are worn, and how to keep them maintained in oil. That's good. You practice deep breathing exercises to build up your ability to sustain a note. This goes up like really sketchily. Whatever. <laughs> your highness. <laughs> My sympathies for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own father will never be coming back. He's an attractive man. My boyfriend used to be blonde, so... Thank you. However, I must call for your aid. The Ixenite occupation of the country of Ibria has gone on for too long. Now is the time to push back. I know there's been some problems with Ixion, Ixion, but I don't know the details. I guess they're occupying Southern Mari. We have plenty of troops, so it shouldn't be that hard to drive them out if we want to make a fight of it. Uh, uh, can I save here? Okay, here we go. Fight or no. Nah. That's what it's gonna be called. There we go. Okay, we're gonna try to negotiate, because that's nice. There must be a peaceful way to try to settle this. I will send for diplomats from Ixiana and try to come to some arrangement. Thank you, your highness. He's actually part snake. <laughs> your highness, if I may ask, that necklace you're wearing, 
where did it come from? It was a gift from the Duke of Sedna. Then you have made arrangements with him? I think he's asking if I'm engaged to the Duke. I just like jewelry. Oh, wait, wait, now I have to save it. Under. Oh, no. Okay, let's see. Jewelry or no. Because, I mean, if I can get with, like, cute snake guy, totally. I just like jewelry. Not at all. <laughs> Silly boys. You're stupid. But I appreciate presents. Doesn't everyone? If you say so, your highness. <laughs> All right, and today we're gonna do. I just want to press because I hate that mood. All right, so wow, she's back to being really scary looking. So, thank you for watching episode number two. Um, this is where I stop, and I am going to play again if you enjoy it so please let me know if you enjoy it if you're new welcome hello subscribe if you'd like it's kind of awkward here also i have a cold so if i sound really awkward that's why all right thanks for watching bye